What is going on guys? This is Spade and this is going to be some Apex Legends gameplay on PS4. I decided to at least give this game a shot on console after playing it on PC for the past few weeks. Uh, mostly at the behest of my cousin who was like, hey man, we should play this game on PS4. I wasn't even aware that you could play this game for free on PS4. I know it's a free to play game, but I, I always thought some games you had to pay to, for PlayStation Plus to play online. I knew like Warframe and Blacklight Retribution and stuff like that you didn't have to, but I wasn't aware that other games you didn't have to that fell in that same kind of boat, I guess you could say. But decided to check it out. I installed it. This was literally my first game uh, I've ever played of Apex Legends on PS4, and it turned out being a pretty good one. I got paired with two randoms that were actually able to hold their own in a fight, which is really unheard of. But for me, moving over from PC to console, I wasn't, I'm not used to the movement in terms of a shooter or anything like, like that on console right now. And I was even using just a basic default PS4 controller. I do have a scuff vantage for PS4, but that's kind of put up right now. That's more like in my display case than it is being used because I don't play shooters on console. So this, I just figured I'd try this out on here. Uh, with the basic controller and we'll see what happened and it turned out to be a decently good game for me uh good enough to where i am considering putting this game in the mix of my streams now console wise because it's not for lack of a better word it's just easy like console shooters if you are it's hard for me to, to say exactly i'm not going to say console kids are bad but they move differently. You know, it's easier to predict the movement of a console player more so than it is a PC player because we have much more mobility options at our literal fingertips as opposed to a controller. You're kind of limited in what you can do unless you have like an aftermarket scuff or something like that. I know that PS4, you can do mouse and keyboard natively, but I'm not sure if that works on this game. If it does, feel free to enlighten me. I'm not sure. But this game did wind up coming down pretty close and I the guys that I was paired with were actually kind of talking shit you can't really hear it uh, in this PlayStation recording as I went back and got this off of the PlayStation share stuff so if it's not that great a quality that's why it's off the PlayStation DVR but I came into this literal first game right after training oh sorry and my I think my level was two <laughs> these guys were like oh man you know, this guy's gonna suck. Literally, like, this this kid's gonna be bad. That's what they were saying about me. They're like, this kid's gonna be bad. And at the end of the game, they were like, wow. You know, he actually held his own. And, like, and his buddy was like, man, you said he was gonna be trash. And he was like, well, he's a fucking level two. <laughs> you know, so they were just expecting, expecting being bad. And as you can see, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Like, I, I started to do a finisher there on that guy when I really wasn't trying to. I'm just not used to controller and what does what but if you guys want to see more of this stuff from me uh, apex specifically on ps4 on my channel or on my streams definitely let me know uh because i enjoyed it i thought it played pretty well in terms of graphically as you can see in the top right like i wasn't even playing on the hd graphics settings because i it, the game told me it was able to be played so i went ahead and hit play even though hd textures weren't loaded for whatever reason so i had to wait on that to be loaded well i didn't have to wait on it but i was playing at a minimal texture setting i guess i don't know like on low settings let's just call it that but the game still looked pretty decent to me i do notice that my elgato capture software the saturation is a little vivid so i might have to turn that down it's not near that vivid inside obs but i guess this is uh, specific on the, the Elgato capture software it's pretty 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 vibrant but either way how are you guys enjoying Apex Legends what are you guys playing it on are you playing it on Xbox PC PS4 uh, and what do you wish you could play it on for me I I have everything I have a PC I have a PS4 I have uh, an Xbox one hooked up in the living room so I could literally play this on everything if I wanted to but either way the PS4 situation is just like man let's try it out and it mostly was just just to see if I could play it online without having to pay for PlayStation Plus. And surprisingly enough, I could. But 
I really don't have much else to talk about, guys. I'm sorry. I'm extremely tired. I just wanted to get this first first PS4 gameplay first win out. I keep yawning, and I keep having to cut that out of the commentary, and I apologize for that. I haven't sat down and done a commentary on YouTube for a good, very solid minute here, so bear with me. I do everything live. So this is going to be the part of the video where we plug, plug Jesus Christ, where we plug the live stream stuff. So if you guys are not following my live streams already, I would definitely appreciate it if you would. It is twitch.tv slash the mystic spade. We're slowly growing over there. We're averaging around like 40 to 50 viewers a stream. So uh, we're growing when before it was like less than 10. So we're growing steadily at a kind of steady rate. I've gotten the attention of a couple of bigger like division streamers since I started streaming division uh, pretty, pretty regularly. But literally, I just, my whole thing with streaming is I like to hang out, meet cool people with the same, I won't say passion, but the same interest as me and just want to play games with me. I'm not even all about just playing games and you watching. I like to play party games with uh, viewers like Jackbox and Golf with Friends and stuff like that. So definitely, if you're not following the streams, you should. Check me out. It'd be nice. It'd mean a lot. Since uh, the YouTube content is kind of an afterthought for me at this point, since... Now, YouTube views don't really do a whole lot for me. It's all on residual stuff at this point. This is more of update and car videos for, for my YouTube channel, which is kind of weird. I like car videos, but I didn't think they would become the forefront of my channel. But definitely, once again, guys, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, link to the Discord will actually be in the description as well. Uh, that's when I update everyone that I'm going live and try to get the party situated before we hit that go live button. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We will see you guys on the next one. Have a good night, good day, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. And we'll see you guys you when we're live. Champions.